So before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you all know that I'm actually having surgery the day of this video going live. So my replies in your comments will probably be a lot slower. But yeah, on to the topic of this video, My Hero Academia is getting a live action movie. It's being produced by Legendary Pictures. This is a Hollywood movie. And it's based on an anime. And to be completely honest with you, that's an immediate red flag. I mean, just looking at the live action anime movies that we got in the past decade or so, it's not a good track record. Dragon Ball Evolution, the Netflix Death Note and Bleach movies, neither of which were really very good. The Full Metal Alchemist live action movie, they're all really bad. However, I think there are a couple of things that people aren't considering when talking about this news. First of all, My Hero Academia is a superhero story, and superheroes are really, really popular right now. I feel like this had more of a chance to be successful solely based on the fact that it has to do with superheroes than, say, a Dragon Ball movie based around a character that's entire first arc is literally a parody of the Japanese folklore. There's a lot of American influence in My Hero Academia. Hell, all of Deku and All Might's moves are named after states in America. All Might had worn red, white, and blue before, and as we know, thanks to My Hero Academia 2 Heroes, All Might was an exchange student in America for a period of time while studying at UA High School. But above all else, I believe that this is marketing really well, and as a superhero movie, the general public will be much more inclined to go see it than they would be if it were marketed as a movie based on an anime. The general public did not really get the content that they say Soul Reaper, so when you market a live action Bleach movie, nobody's gonna really be interested in that concept. However, when you market a movie about superheroes, everybody will immediately at least be a little on board. My Hero Academia is also basically universally successful. 99% of people that watch My Hero Academia really like it. Like, I've never seen the entire anime community universally agree a shonen battle anime is good in the way we have all universally agreed My Hero Academia is really good. So yeah, they're adapting a property that is not just popular, but also really well written and has a really good story that I think could be easily adapted into a movie. What you really just need to do is do Deku and All Might meeting, the training sequence, the entrance exam, some fun school stuff for like 10-20 minutes, and then do the USJ attack at the end of season 1, and bam, you have a good movie. All Might vs. Nomu is literally waiting to be adapted into live action and be done really well if given the proper budget. Also, if Legendary Pictures is smart and they're able to work with Bone properly, I'm not sure if it's possible, but they may be able to get you stay run in the movie, which would be really good because that's a really good track. But yeah, things like Deku and Uraraka vs. Bakugo and Ida can just be put off until another season. The great thing about My Hero Academia is some things in this show can either be cut entirely for the movie or rearranged and put in future movies. The biggest problem I think this movie could face on a production standpoint is finding actors to play the kids because you're going to need to find a lot of good child actors. I mean, Harry Potter did it, but it's still immensely difficult to find an entire school's worth of child actors that can act. Actually act. Hell, you could even argue Harry Potter didn't really even do that and the actors in the movies just got better over time because of how ridiculously long they had to do it. They're also in a tough situation because this is a battle shonen. The characters in the series are all obviously Japanese, but none of them look Japanese. Like, these characters are Japanese, but they are super white. So when you're casting them, it's like, did you cast Japanese kids to play them or American kids to play them? The Japanese kids are Japanese, but they're also not white, and Deku is clearly white. And if they cast Japanese child actors, people are going to be upset that the characters aren't white. If they cast American child actors, people are going to be upset that the actors aren't Japanese. So either way, the studio is in a lose-lose situation in terms of casting. If they pitch Japanese, 
Japanese actors, people will not be happy because the actors aren't white. And if they pick white American actors, people won't be happy if the actors aren't Japanese. It is worth noting that if you be if I busted it, Ryusuke Yoritorumi is going to be overseeing the film on behalf of Jueisha. It is also unknown at this moment how much input Horikoshi will have on the writer's table. While he is a mangaka, so his schedule is unbelievably busy, I really hope he pushes to be heavily involved so he can make sure the movie turns out good. But either way, I just want to say I'm sure Horikoshi is really happy with this. As somebody who has been following mainstream superhero media for years, I'm sure he's seen a lot of the Marvel movies, he loves Spider-Man, I know that. So I'm sure he's super happy to see his theory getting turned into a live action, just like the Marvel movies have been. But yeah, overall, while this wasn't something I wanted, I'm not super worried about it because I do think this has a chance of being good. I think with a proper budget, a good director, and the movie being oversaw by Horikoshi and Suecia, this movie can be good. Everybody involved just needs to try really hard and do it right. I certainly have more faith in this idea than I did in the idea of a live action Bleach movie produced by Netflix, that's for damn sure. Or an FMA live action movie. Or a Dragon Ball live action movie. Or that Naruto live action movie never got made. I have more faith in this than I had in any other live action anime movie ever. But you know, that's not saying too much. Let's wait and see what happens. This movie may end up in production limbo, like that live action Naruto movie that was announced in like 2014 and hasn't gone anywhere. Or that really old Bleach movie that was announced in like 2012. Hopefully that doesn't happen though, because as I said, I think this movie could be good if done right. But guys, tell me what you think about the idea of a live action My Hero Academia movie in the comments section down below. And like the video if you enjoy, and subscribe for more anime, manga, and comic book content. Of all else, guys, have a great day, and make sure to follow me on Twitter. The link is down below, where you can get updates about upcoming videos and projects that I'm working on on the side that may come out in the upcoming months.